Cuckoo 7. It looks like big cyber attacks targeting major U.S. airports has begun. Today, they're saying these alleged hackers from within Russia that go by the name of Killnet are claiming responsibility for targeting multiple U.S. airports and disrupting the systems in terms of air traffic control and their internal systems, all their communications. Now, they say that this did not disrupt any flights. They were able to maintain everything, stave off the attacks, so to speak, this DDoS attack, denial of public access, all this targeting multiple airports. Now, there is a list that has been put out. This may not be over with. This may continue. The list here is showing out of Chicago, O'Hare, Iowa's main airport, Kansas's main airport, Kentucky's airports out of Louisville and CBG in northern Kentucky, the, the Fly MSY site in AEX out of Louisiana, the BWI airport out of Maryland, some of these, I'm not sure the exact name, because they've just got a bunch of letters. I'm not sure exactly what airport that's going to be, but there's a list here that I'm going to leave below in a link, and I'm going to continue to update if we see any more of these attacks. I told you that after the Nord Stream stuff going down, you should expect something. This is kind of small. This could go large scale. This could be just the beginning of all of this. Either way, I'll keep you posted. Follow me on Twitter. Join me Monday and Friday for the live streams, 9 p.m. Eastern on Dabu 777. You'll find links below. Hit that subscribe button for more. Much love. All right, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the Servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And I'm pretty much one of the beloved brothers of mine, uh, the brother Yanazar of uh, Servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp of uh, South Carolina. Uh, he uploaded this uh, video of Dabu 7, you know, going again into those uh, power uh, EMP attacks. So, uh, they call cyber attacks and the craziest thing is what they're doing you know what this place is called america is doing is they're blaming it on the other countries to fulfill their agenda all right they're saying that uh these other countries are doing cyber attacks to the uh airport systems where clearly it's all you know it's all basically by design for esau to fulfill his agenda but they're claiming that Russia is um, doing cyber attacks to their airport systems. All right. And we know what that's all about. It's basically them fulfilling their own agenda to establish their new world order. All right. And this is going into, uh, again, an EMP attack. All right. And for those of you that don't know, what is an EMP attack? All right. An EMP attack is electric magnetic pulse that can shut down... Um, electricity you won't have access to use your phone you won't have access to drive your vehicle and i'm gonna prove that as well because i always say it but i'm gonna prove it the emp attack when an emp attack ever occurs you can't drive your vehicle you got to have like a 1960 vehicle or earlier type model you can't have a 2000 or a 1999 or any type of vehicle like that because that all runs off of gps so you're not going to be able to use that vehicle all right, you're not going to be able to drive uh, a modern day vehicle. And if you got a push start vehicle, you're really not going to be able to drive that. All right. So this is, uh, 
you know, the times that we're coming into. This is Jacob Trouble. We're coming into the beginning of it. It says, and when you type it in, because this is what I type in, what happens if an EMP attack, all right? What happens if an EMP attack occurs? It says an EMP attack will destroy electronics, see, and the digital circuitry in the area of impact, thereby denying electricity power to our homes. So that means you won't be able to keep your food refrigerated. You won't be able to take showers. Um, you won't be able to use your cell phone. You won't be able to use the Internet. You won't be able to use any of that. All right. It says businesses. It will affect jobs. It's going to affect if you're a person that work in an office, you ain't going to, you ain't going to be able to do anything in that office because you need electricity to do everything that, that you all the work that you do in the office. That's going to fuck up businesses. That's going to fuck up a lot of things. It says and military. Our country is dependent. See. America, our country is dependent on electricity to power our health. You got people that's in the hospitals. You got people that's on a life support. You got people that's, you know, that's needing that uh, electricity, you know, to keep the oxygen machine working. It's going to fuck up hospitals. It says financial. See, financial. How's it going to fuck up financial? Because when an EMP attack come, you won't be able to use your credit cards. You won't be able to use your banking. You won't be able to use your bank account, and you won't be able to use Bitcoin because that that all runs off electricity as well. So you ain't gonna have no access to your accounts. Your accounts are gonna be frozen. So you ain't gonna have no be able to have no access to those accounts. Transportations again. You won't be able to drive your vehicle. You won't be able to drive a vehicle, and I'm gonna prove that. You won't be able to. With an EMP attack come, you won't be able to drive your vehicle. And business systems and business systems. So it's gonna affect a lot of people. This is gonna affect a lot of people. All right. And when you put in, look at this, because I always talk about it. Look at this. I'm gonna show you. Let me see if I can show. I'm gonna show you right now. Cause I just want to prove this point real quick. Um, Salakia, Salakia. Let me see if I can. Uh, Cause I just want to prove this part. Um. If I can go back one more time, it's so like it, brothers, because I just want to prove this. I was just reading this. Um, let me see. Here we go. So like it for all that, but I just want to prove because I was just reading this before I did this lesson. It says what year vehicles would survive an EMP attack. Check this out. It says and cars made in the 60s or earlier. So you won't. The only way through an EMP attack you'll be able to drive a vehicle will have to be a, a 1960 vehicle and further back to night and up uh, and lesser than that, like 1920, 1930, 1940, 1950, 60 vehicles. Because those don't run off GPS. Those don't run off actual electricity like the cars that we have today do. It says, or earlier, before the widespread automotive use of solid state electronics. And I used to wonder, like, because it's crazy because the older vehicles, notice that, like, the 1970s, I mean, not 70s, 60s, even 70s, 70s, 60s, 40s, you can't even get the uh, parts to those vehicles. All right? You can't even get those parts to those vehicles. <laughs> You know, but Esau's doing that on purpose too, because he don't want anybody to have access of mobile vehicle driving in that time. So all this is being established through the spirit and power of Yahweh It says, it says, and cars made in the 60s or earlier, before the widespread automotive use of solid state electronics, are the least valuable, val vulnerable of all. But no car, no matter how old. Is granted to survive a direct hit from the MP. So you have to have like a 1960 or lower, but it also says no car, all right, no matter how old, is guaranteed to survive a direct hit from the EMP attack. So you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to use your vehicle. See, 
And I wasn't making this up. You won't be able to drive or use your vehicle. It says, how do I, how do I, how do I EMP prove my house? It says, proof my house. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on that. But I just wanted to prove that point. You know, you're not going to be able to drive your vehicle if an EMP attack occurs. And it, sh it said it right then and there. No vehicle. It says 1960 or earlier. But it says mainly, it says, but um, no matter how old the vehicle is, you won't be able to drive it at all. So it, it's an if, but you won't be able to drive no vehicle at all. So that's going to be a devastating time for a lot of people because that's what it's going into, an EMP attack, which is also a part of Jacob Trouble. Now, I'm not saying I know when it's going to come, but it's going to come. This is Jeremiah 30 and 5. It says, for thus saith the Lord, it says, we have heard a voice of trembling of fear, not of peace. We're not in a time of peace. You got people stressed out right now. You got a lot of people on strikes. You got the you got the, uh, you got got the the uh, railroad trains, um, you know, shut down. All right, you got you got people that's in the hospital field. They're getting paid regular wages instead of getting paid their, you know, the extra hours that they're working. They're getting paid regular hours. All right, and they working double hours in that. So you got people upset. You got people on strike for that. You got the uh, truckers that's on strike still because a lot of them got laid off. They ain't got the money like that no more. People are working for free. And this is bugging people out. It's making people angry. It's upsetting people. It's upsetting the community. It's making people upset. All of these things that's taken up. So we're not in a time of peace. We're in a time of fear. All right. You got wars going on in Ukraine. There's a lot of things going on. You know. Verse 6. It says. As ye know and see. Whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his lines. As a woman in travail. And all faces are turned to pelness. Feeble and weak. Because you got a lot of people. That's stressing out right now. People are stressing out. People are freaking out. So just in case of an EMP attack occurs too, that also goes in with famine of the word. All right. Famine of the word. Famine of this truth. All right. So again, if you are so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indian, you want to be getting this truth as much as possible. All right. You want to be studying and building and learn. This is why the elders are saying, once you learn enough of this truth, go out and start teaching. Because... We're in the last days, man. We're in the last days. We're in the last days. And the only way for us to get saved is by laboring. So if you're a Jake that's been in this truth longer than a year to six months and you haven't did no lessons, you ain't did no labors of your own, all right, since you came into this truth. You've been in this truth since 2013, you know, uh, 20, 2012, and you've been in this truth this whole entire time and you never, ever did a lesson for the Lord never did any lessons, never went to camp, you're going to be a bad individual. It's going to be a, a fucked up situation for you. It's like in my alarm. You're gonna, it's going to be a fucked up situation for you because you didn't do nothing to glorify the Lord. So when Jacob trouble come, how are you going to be delivered? You didn't do nothing for the Lord. Yeah, you got the truth, but you didn't do nothing for the Lord with it. So you're going to be a messed up person. This is why, again... You want to, if you learn enough of this truth, teach as much as possible, labor as much as possible. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. You want to be doing lessons consistently more, more and more and more and more. This is the year of turn up. We don't know when this place is going to fall apart, but you want to be prepared. And how by being prepared is what? Measuring the times diligently, as the scriptures say, and, and laboring, doing as much works as you can. It doesn't matter. You individually, again, is working out your own salvation. So, you know, you got to really pay attention to what's going on. Verse 6. As you know and see whether a man do of travail with child, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his lawns, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Verse 7. Alice for that day is great. See? Alice for that day is great. So there's none like it. Because the time that we're coming into, this is going to be a global thing. This is going to be a global thing worldwide you're not going to be able to escape this an emp attack this is going to be global a global economic collapse that's going to be global you're not going to be able to escape that you ain't gonna be able to escape that because you got jake's you know that's being carnal and simple minded in the head they're moving out of the u.s right now and going way to hawaii you can't escape the judgment of the lord you can't it's all established to you how about shima shai all right it says, as a woman in travail and all faces are turned to the paleness, 
Verse 7, Alice for that day is great, so there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. And that's the time that we're coming into. We're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Who's the he? The elect. Now, the elect is going to be saved. But you got people out there teaching that they're going to be saved before Jacob's trouble. Or you, or you got Jake's teaching that they're already in Jacob's trouble. Which neither of those is correct. All right. Neither of those is correct. According to uh, Daniel chapter 12. All right. Uh, Daniel chapter 12 and uh, verse 1. All right. We have to go through Jacob trouble before we can be saved. We got to endure through Jacob trouble. We got to go through Jacob trouble first before we can be saved. All right. But you got Israelites out there with these weird doctrines teaching that they're going to be saved before Jacob trouble and they're going to or or that they're already in Jacob trouble. Like they believe right now is Jacob trouble. And it's not. It's not. Because if it was Jacob Trouble, I wouldn't be doing no lesson right now. None of us would be able to use the internet. We wouldn't be able to do, be able to use the internet. Brothers would not be able to go on the highways and byways. I wouldn't even be getting ready to go to work in an hour. We wouldn't be able to do any of that right now if we was in Jacob Trouble. So, you know, neither of those is correct. We got to go through Jacob Trouble first. And this is Proverbs 1 and 26. Because, you know, the Lord has been speaking through his prophets for years. He's been speaking through his men for years. And you got people that either walk by the camp, they'll, you know, they'll throw their fists up, say it's Shalom and all that. But they ain't never did nothing for the Lord. You know, they just heard it or seen or seen brothers. So they go by the camp, say Shalom, and then keep walking. Like just because you you think you're doing something by saying Shalom. You're not doing shit. If you ain't did nothing for the Lord, you just walking by the camp and just saying Shalom and just keep walking forward. You just, you know, he's uh, Jake may be with his woman. He got he got he got uh, some fringe. He got a fringe T-shirt on, you know, and he's walking with his woman and he's saying Shalom and, and just walking around with some fringes and going down the street. That don't mean shit because you ain't did nothing for the Lord. You can you can dress like that and have fringes, walk around fringe T-shirts and do all that. That ain't doing shit. Because you ain't did nothing for the Lord. You ain't you ain't actually took out time to study. Literally watch those lessons. Take notes. You know. You ain't had the audacity to do none of that. So just because you got fringes. And you got a nice long ass beard. And you got a fro. That don't mean shit. If you ain't did no lessons. That don't mean shit. You can, you can literally wear a garment. You can literally wear a garment. If you ain't did shit for your how about she my shy, that don't mean shit. You ain't got no works to show for yourself. You don't have no works to show. Then, you know, everything you're doing is a waste. It's a waste spending money for a garment. It's a waste doing all of that because you ain't doing nothing for the Lord. So when that time comes and, you know, I pray we're not those individuals. You know, anybody that's watching this video or, you know, anybody in the camp, in our camp, you know, we pray that we're not those individuals. All right, because this is what's going to happen. Proverbs 1 and 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. And what's a calamity? What's a calamity? Right. It says calamity. Calamity. An event causing great or often sudden damage or distress, a disaster. That's what a calamity is. And the Lord is, is doing that. The Lord is intensifying his wrath. It says I will mock when your fear cometh. Why? Because the Lord had prophets out and the Lord was speaking through those prophets and you despise the word. You despise the instructions given of Yahweh Bashimashai. You didn't want to take heed to that. You wanted to, oh, only God knows when the world gonna end. Only God only God can judge me. I have my own free will. You know? God loves everybody. You let your own imaginations of your opinion, alright, embedded in your mind instead of Taking really listening and taking the time to study and get right under your Bashi Mashai, you rebelled against that. So now the Lord is gonna have to do his judgment, and you're gonna try it in that time, you're gonna try to seek it, and it's gonna be too late. Verse 27 When your fear cometh as desolation, because this is what's this is what's coming. EMP attack, the global economic collapse, the crash of the depletion of the dollar. Alright. The MOTB being a new currency. This is what's coming. It says your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish shall come upon you. People are going to be stressed out in that time. They're going to be bugged out in that time. They're not going to be able to keep their apartment. They're not going to be able to keep their their house. That nice house you got 
with that 2020 vehicle, 2021, 2022, people that's living leverage right now, you guys are going to be fucked up in that time because you never went through anything. You know, everything was just a piece of cake for you because you had trillions of dollars, thousands of dollars. But once this place completely falls apart, when the digital currency is fully in effect and you have to have the MLTB and your bank card, your credit card and all that ain't going to fucking work and they're not going to take that. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but hearing of the word of the Lord. And this is what's getting ready to take place. Famine of the word. They're going to get rid of YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and TikTok. They're going to get rid of those uh, those 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 social media platforms, man. The EMP attack is going to affect everything. All right. And this is what's going to happen when that stuff happens. This is what people are going to try to do. And they shall wander from sea to sea. Right. It says and from the north, even unto the east. So they're going to go from city to city, state to state. All right. Country to country, state to state. Right. It says. And from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. This prophecy hasn't been fulfilled yet, but it's coming. People are going to literally try to go online. They're going to try to go to the camps where the brothers are teaching. And you're not going to see them there. Because once the Lord has gathered his elect, that's it. That is it, man. That is it. Once the Lord has gathered his elect, that is it. Ain't going to be no more YouTube. No no more of those, those platforms. And then the, those of you that, that didn't uh, take heed, you're going to realize that those men were the true prophets. And you're going to try to go out there to try to get it. And it's going to be too late. It says, the word of the Lord and shall not find it. That's when they're going to try to, what's the name they were calling on? Oh, I can't remember the name. Uh, what's the name? You're going to try to go on the internet. You're not going to be able to get it. You're going you're gonna to try to, you're going to try to, you, they might even try to, uh, they may have a, 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 a close a homeboy that that was you know in the truth you know let's say you there's a jake that had a, a a friend that was in the truth right now just because you think he's in the truth if he don't have the correct name you also fucked up because you got to know the name of the lord you might think oh yeah well, my, my homeboy is a, is a, uh is, a, is 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 in the, is in the truth you know i'm gonna I'm a hit him up you say if you did run into him you know if he's calling on a higher he's calling on yahuwah you're going to be fucked up because you got to know the name of the Lord. That also goes into feminine the word because you got to know the name of the Lord. The scriptures say in uh, Romans uh, 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 10 and 13 that whosoever call upon the name of the Lord should be saved. You got to know the name of the Lord, too. That's a big part. So, yeah, you may you may run into an individual that that you may know that's supposedly in the truth. But you got to you got to see. So like it. You got to see what um you got to see what uh what uh, doctrine he's in, too. This is Achilles 12 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Right? It says, Come not, it says, Come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right. So who's our creator? Yahweh Bashimasha. You want to remember our creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not. Why? Because Yahweh Bashimasha is intensifying his judgment. The Lord is intensifying his wrath. Alright? So we ain't got much time left. You want to be laboring you want to be doing the works you want to be really sustaining this truth because there's the times is coming right revelations 3 and 10 and this is why again you got to have faith and you got to be fully persuaded in your mind because the time that we're coming into is going to bug a lot of people out all right but the lord is going to protect his elect and how we know is this revelation 3 and 10 because thou has kept the word of my patience who's who kept the word of the lord in patience, the 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 hopeful elect started from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to the sincere brothers like ourselves. We kept the word of the Lord in patience. We waited patiently for Him, and that word impatient, that word patient goes into the meaning of upamane, which means consistency or endurance. So we've been consistent through time in this truth, waiting on the Lord patiently. It says, "I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation." Which shall come upon all the world and to try them that dwell upon the earth. And this is what is going to happen. But those of you that's not been in this truth like that, you're not going to know that, you know, you are to be, uh, 
depending on the Lord and being faithful in the truth and praying and ask the Lord to deliver you and call upon his name because you wasn't doing that. You were so busy being worldly, all right? You were so busy being embedded in this world that you never got those understandings. So you're going to be bugged out, leaning into your own understanding on how to do things, and you're going to be killed. The Lord's going to have you be put to death. All right, Micah 2 and 10, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. See, so you're not supposed to be treating this place as your rest. This place is falling apart. You're in a big-ass dream right now. You want to be woken up out of sleep. That's why the scriptures say, all right, you're supposed to wake up out of sleep because we're coming into those times. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be, you know, trying to be leverage here because it is polluted. Everything here is polluted. It's wicked. It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. This place is going to be destroyed with thermonuclear destruction, thermonuclear fire. So why would you want to be focused on the things here? All right, so, you know, I'm in it there with that. All right, Lord wounds us is that a fine? I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bashim Ashai, Bashim Kakudash. All right, peace, blessings, salutations, and awful lake. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word of truth, sincerity. I am your brother, Mashiach Arazaka, from the servants of Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord wills us, that's edifying. So, hey, you don't have too much time left. If you're an individual that's been in this truth six months and above, it's time to start getting busy, start doing the works, start laboring, because you ain't got much time yet. And if you're a Jake that's just now coming to my video, you better start uh, learning and getting this truth before it's too late. All right. So Lord wants us, that's edifying. And I was you. I will highly recommend. I will highly recommend you to follow Great Millstone Hebrew Israelites, too, by the way. So follow Great Millstone. So Lord wants us, that's edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.